Hey everybody, what's up? So today is um, April the 24th, 2010, and this video is actually a day late. I meant to make it yesterday on the 23rd when, when this was going to be relevant, um, but it's still important and I, I just wanted to, to put this out there. YouTube's very first video, it's a video called Me at the Zoo, and it's just like a 19, 20 second clip of a guy standing in front of uh, the elephant cage at the zoo. Well, it was the very first video uploaded to YouTube five years ago on April 23rd, 2005. And it just kind of feels special. Like it's been five whole years. Even though I sort of feel like YouTube has changed and uh, people who upload content on YouTube, all of that has changed. It's gone through several several incarnations of itself. It's not really what it used to be. However, I am still so grateful for YouTube. And I know that makes me kind of like a, a real nerd, but I am. It's brought so many great times into my life. I've honestly made real life friends here in New York because of it. And I know that there's a lot of haters out there um, who would have the response that maybe I should get a life or maybe my life isn't that interesting and I need to get hobbies if uh, YouTube has brought so much to me but you know maybe you're right <laughs> aside from it just being something that I really get something out of uh, you know contributing and, and putting stuff out there it's also just been a real pleasure for me to kind of get a glimpse into other people's worlds, you know? Like, I really am one of those people that sometimes it's like 4 a.m. and I can't sleep and I'll get onto YouTube and I'll discover a stranger's videos and I'll get deep into that world and for like two weeks that person is just the new thing that I'm obsessed with and, you know, in, in some instances that has led to me actually kind of getting to know somebody. And in one particular instance, that person ended up becoming the love of my life. I met my boyfriend, Nick, here on YouTube years ago. Um, kind of when I was first getting into all of this, I discovered his videos. He was this adorable, just hot boy living in Iowa, and he worked at a hotel, and that kind of got my attention. And so. You know, I, I made this whole series of videos called Boyfriending Nick, and um, clearly it all worked. And that's all because of YouTube. You know, I, there's no way I would have found him. I just, I, I it, it's, it, it would have been impossible. I don't fucking go to the cornfields of Iowa, and he had no intention of coming to New York. So, if it hadn't been for this website, if it had not been for YouTube, um, I wouldn't be where I am now, and uh, it's it's had many effects on my life. Uh, affected me professionally in some instances. I think for a lot of people, YouTube has sort of launched careers. You know, there was um, Lisa Nova who ended up getting signed to be on the cast of Mad TV because of her videos. Isabella Brave, uh, who sang and got a recording contract out of it, and now she's in a book. I think it's the YouTube for Dummies book. She's in it. She was nobody. She was she was just this girl who made videos in her room. You know, William Sled, B. Scott, even fucking Chris Crocker. I mean, it's just incredible what has happened and the communities that have kind of branched out of this silly little website. And I'm so I'm so thankful for it. I I, I have true appreciation for for this for this ridiculous website that we're all you know a little a little too into maybe. So congratulations to you, YouTube. Um, five years, five years of just giving people something to do and a great way to waste time at work and a great way to meet people and to learn about all kinds of stuff. I am I'm proud to be a contributor to YouTube. I'm, I'm proud to be a YouTube partner. And uh, I, am, I am thankful for this website. There, I said it. Go!